What's going on? Welcome to Asian Cosell. If you can give me the HKO special, help the king out, hit the like, subscribe, and comment. All right, so we're going to talk about, yep, Raiders a quarterback Jimmy Garofalo. And, you know, um, you, as you guys heard, he's had a two-game suspension. And there's all these rumors and talks of where he could maybe now end up because, you know, uh, I don't know if the Raiders have uh, Jimmy Garofalo as part of their future plans because, you know, we have Aiden O'Connell as a quarterback and we're looking to maybe draft maybe a quarterback from LSU, Daniel. So we don't know uh, what the future is. But let's see here in this article. And here we go. Let's get into it right here. And this was an article released uh, about a few minutes ago. So Peter King says, hey, Steelers should sign quarterback Jimmy Groffel after Raiders release. So there they are. There's Jimmy. And another day, another quarterback floated for the Steelers. I guess that's what happens when your full Hall of Fame quarterback retires and your secession plan is Mitch Trubisky and a first rounder who in hindsight hasn't shown first round chop so the quarterback for the day for february 19 is jimmy garofalo it's not the first time he's been linked to the steelers and it won't be last prior to 22 free agency the late john clayton thought he'd be a solid option for pittsburgh and even ryan shazer endorsed it now it's nbc sports peter king who has a lot of things to say recently about the steelers quarterback situation in today's Football Morning America column, he opined about that what he could be next for the two-time Super Bowl champion. News of the Raiders plan to release him after suspension of PED. So he says, I think uh, Jimmy Groffler's two-game PED suspension throws a wrench into his uh, quarterback in future. Obviously, King wrote, and no one's going to feel sorry for a guy who has overcapped and has made 148.8 in a nice but overvalued career. Which team would not would take a shot at the starter when he's on the street in offseason, knowing he's out for the first two games? Pittsburgh, maybe? Hmm. It's a good thought, one that <coughs> most Steelers fans had, even if it was fleeting, but the keyword starter should eliminate Pittsburgh as an option. Apparently, the team isn't interested in a quarterback whose present makes presumed starter Kenny Pickett feel threatened. Yep, and that leaves guys like Garofalo and any other signal caller who can help the Steelers immediately to the teams with more urgent outlooks. But yeah, it's just, yeah, and it is a, a maybe you know a slap to Kenny Pickett. But you know these days, you know we're gonna need probably two quarterbacks or three quarterbacks with the way teams are. You know they're. Uh, you know, a lot of these quarterbacks are just getting injured out on that field. So we'll see. But, yeah, I mean, Pittsburgh's been leased to Jimmy Garofalo a few times, but we won't have to see what happens. And, you know, but, of course, we do know he's sitting out two games. The question is, where is he going? We still don't know, even if Pittsburgh has been uh, just the latest news today. But we'll see. And we'll just have to follow through on what we see with Garofalo. All right. So if uh, any of you enjoyed any of this content, please give me the HKO special. Hit the like, subscribe, and comment. So other than that, I will see you in my next video.